Let's check in with Bob Bassani on this Monday morning. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Carl. Happy Monday, everybody. A uh, bit of a defensive tone to the market today. So Pfizer, United Health, Johnson & Johnson, uh, all up in the Dow. Uh, cyclical stocks like Boeing, uh, for example, J.P. Morgan, a bit on the downside. But still, the, the focus still is on the recovery rather than on the losses that we've had. The Mark is still acting very glass half fully. So here you see today banks a little bit weaker, materials, industrials. There's your cyclical group a little bit weaker. Where healthcare and consumer staples, there's your defensive group a little bit stronger. You get this push and pull. This is a very typical pattern. But generally, the market's been glass half full rather than glass half empty. We like to remind everybody every day how difficult it is to figure out what the right levels for stocks are because so many companies are pulling guidance. And again today, smaller groups because earnings season is passing, but Chesapeake, Roku didn't give any guidance, Continental Resources, Blue Rock, some of the REITs haven't uh, at all, uh, Hamilton Beach brands, all. We are nearing 40% of the S&P 500 that has declined to provide full-year guidance, nearly 40%. That is unprecedented uh, in history. Still, the focus remains on the recovery, as I mentioned, rather than on the losses. It's still glass half full. So if you look at the market internals, very clear where we are here. The S&P 500's regained 60% of the losses from the February 19th high. That's amazing rally here. The breadth has been expanding. That means more advancing stocks than declining stocks uh, on, a, on a daily, weekly basis overall. And the volatility, well, the VIX has closed 28 on Friday. That's the lowest level since February 26th. We were over 80, remember, uh, in that week of March 23rd. St still, everybody keeps insisting we need to be cautious, and the internals of what we're seeing here certainly would recommend that, other than no guidance from the S&P, the dividend cuts. We've seen suspensions. We've seen far fewer buybacks, although they're concentrated in a few areas, the reductions, and a notable multiple expansion in the S&P. We don't know what that means, but we're trading, depending on what quarter you're using, for the future, 20 to 23 times forward earnings. That's a very, very high number, given the caution uh, that's been out there. Uh, still, uh, people keep saying, why is the market up with such horrible numbers? It was the big issue over the weekend. But look at the sectors. The sectors are telling you it's not so clear. Uh, the, the cyclical names, the banks, the energies, the industrials, the REITs, they're all still getting clobbered. This is from the February 19th high. Banks are still 34% below those old highs. That's hardly a recovery. Now, yes, we've seen some sector outperformers. Most of them tend to be in the defensive groups. So, for example, consumer staples and healthcare. Healthcare is only 5% off of its highs right now. And yes, this, this communication services have done very well, but that's because Alphabet and Facebook and Netflix and maybe Verizon have done really well. A small handful of stocks there. It's the tech group that it's done really well if you take a look at all of those names and see what they've been doing here. Let me just show you the mega cap rally and show you where the biggest names, the five biggest R names are from their 52-week highs. Microsoft is almost at a new high, 3%. Amazon's just off 3% off its new highs. Facebook and uh, Apple are only 5% off their new highs. Alphabet's sort of the laggard. That's 9%. But remember, the S&P 500 uh, uh, is only 9% off of its highs. So those mega cap stocks have really been moving if those are in technology and communication services. The rest of the market, though, is still struggling. So let's make sure, David, that th there is a bifurcation in the market. It's People haven't lost their minds. There is some rationality in the way the stocks are being priced. Guys, back to you.